Well, hello, Stife super fans. It's so nice to see you again. Today is technically fall, but it is so lovely out. I'm celebrating Indian summer with my summery shirt, which brings us to today's unboxing, which is something you're certainly going to fall for, and you can trust me on that. So let's get started with our next unboxing adventure. What I have here is the box. Okay, and the scissors. And let's see what secrets it holds. Just open it up and share with you something I think you'll really, really like. Now, I believe there's two of them in here. Let me just check. Yes, there are two. Extremely well packed. Kudos to the sender. This could have gone to Mars and back without damage. Anyway, let me open these up and show you these wonderful, fun playthings. I'm going to pull up one at a time. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Do you see this? Lovely, lovely. This is an elephant skittle. Take a look. I'm going to open up the second one. And this is wonderful as well. A rabbit skittle. Let me show these to you. Lovely little skittles. Now, skittles are like bowling pins. And these guys were made by Stife. They appeared in the line starting um, in the first uh, catalog of representation of Stife in about 1892 and appeared through about 1919. They are really bowling, like you think you throw a ball at these and they fall down. These were made for the American market. Stife made 10 Skittles per um, unit for the American market and nine for the European market. And what these generally were, let me just start with the rabbit, would be a relatively standard line item that was either sitting or begging because it would be the perfect body position to be on a wooden plinth and these were solid wood and Stife also did a lot with wood pre-war so not unusual to see a wooden part of the production. And this is a wonderful velvet bunny and he is wearing his original bow. I see that he's missing either a little bell or a pendant here. He's lovely. He would have been like white or cream and he's spotted. He's darkened a little. He's got black button eyes and they're backed in red felt. And he is, let me see if we can find a little place for his button. And it's possible that these might have been pre-buttoned because the button appeared in items from 1904 onward and it's entirely possible these were produced before them. So I'm not seeing any indication of where a button would have been on him. So it is quite possible that this little hoppy happy hair is pre-1904 but only he knows beautiful and he measures for reference and with his ears he's about 18 and without his ears he's about 14 and that's usually the range for these stife skittles you would see them probably in the 10 to 15 centimeter range not including the wooden plinth Now let's take a look at the elephant. Isn't he lovely? And he's got his trunk that's up in the shape of an S. Coincidence or not, S for Stife. Only he knows again, he has his original bow and he has his bell and that is original to him. I'm looking at his wonderful ears and construction and he would have been a gray velvet. He's darkened a little over time that happens. I believe his tusks would be ivory given the time or perhaps wood but that's what they are his eyes are little black buttons i am not also seeing any indication of an ear button so it's possible this little guy is also pre-1904 and so he measures oh he even has his little tail that's amazing and he measures about 12 centimeters
So these guys would have been the pins. And that's like one of the items that would be knocked over. There, it's not the kingpin. The kingpin usually appeared on a plant that was a little bit higher and the animal or the item would have been a little bit more elaborate. In other words, if this were a kingpin, he might have had a crown or a vest or some other type of differentiator to show that he was the one that was in the middle and the king. But these are wonderful pins from Skittle sets, probably pre-1904, a rabbit and an elephant. I've also seen them as dogs. I've seen a wonderful poodle in a woolly kind of material that was delightful. I've even seen these as chickens. How wonderful is that, that they're standing on their little plinths. Fun, fun, I've seen them as pigs and many other designs. What's really remarkable about these though is that they really were designed as toys. These were designed to be knocked down by children with balls that were made out of wood and covered in felt. Most Skittle sets came with two of those felt covered balls. So the fact that they are in any condition whatsoever and surviving to this day is really remarkable. So simply lovely, lovely. And these display so beautifully on a mantle or in a collection, they take up little or no room given their dimensions. Anyway, did that bowl you over? I hope so. Thank you so much for watching our unboxing about Stipe Skittles. I hope to see you soon for our next unboxing adventure. And until then, Teddy hugs to everyone. Okay, see you later. Bye for now.